it's life up there. It might be life down here too, but I ain't, I ain't come down here to fuck with them type. I mean, I might be tatted up and look like I look, but I'm just an average ass dad now. That's another reason I got away from that shit. Like, motherfucker don't want to just be like where I was living at. I could have, I could have moved. You know what I'm saying? A couple cities over. But it's like, nah. Let me just get the fuck. My brother down here, so... Now he got somebody down here. You know, he can just kick it with whenever he wants to at the same time. He been down here for goddamn... Since 2010, Jane. You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah. My grandma died in 2010. Right before my son turned motherfucking. That shit was a wild time. Cause I was supposed to be in jail, but the motherfuckers, I was out on probation. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause that shit kind of like, man, that shit, it's at the same time, another sense of situation sometimes. And you gotta, You know what I'm saying? And back there, I got stories about my grandma too. Hell of a story. That's a whole other goddamn book, probably. Cause my grandma was like my mom before my mom really had to be my mom. Cause my grandma loved me more than she loved my little brother. Shit be wild and crazy when you think about it now. Back in the day, they might give a fuck. Like, my, she had all these grandkids, and I'm the favorite. Well, I'm the favorite. You know what I'm saying? It could have been something with my mom. Cause my mom seemed like she was the, the one that ain't nobody fuck with in the family or like that. She was a little, little sister. The youngest one out of ten. You probably had with all no, like, oh, my cousins is wild and crazy. The majority of us, dog. Like, I think it's just the upbringing. Like, motherfuckers, just, some people just don't give a fuck. That's why I listen to the music I listen to. So I do the things I do, but um, I'm, 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 I'm sit, I'm in sat. It was like jail for a year and a half. Back to real life, dog. It's all to it. Leave stories to be told. See how this shit work. You know what I'm saying? My shit was all over the place, but... Hey. This is my first run at this shit, dog. I'm gonna try to do this shit every motherfucking day just to keep this shit coming. Just cause, like, the motherfuckers I watch, just, some of them just be telling stories. Like, let me, let me, let me, let me tell stories and my background started looking different. Like, what if this was a picture? You know what I'm saying? Just cause, you know what I'm saying? I'm on that poor nigga status. But I am on that poor nigga status. Look at my watch. This bitch ain't nothing. It's just a watch. You feel me? Look at my hat. Ain't no logo on this bitch. It's just a motherfucking hat, dog. My God. Yeah, I might have a Dickies motherfucking work shirt on. Cause that's fair than me, man. I'm always be a working ass nigga. And it's the motherfucking Cleveland Browns, nigga. Right, yeah. I don't know. Motherfuckers be saying they want long video. Motherfuckers really just be sitting listening to shit, though, dog. I ain't really, I ain't got much to show. But, I mean, I do, I could be showing some shit. But I ain't, that ain't, that ain't my scheme, though. I ain't out here to be showing you like that, right, but. I'll tell you some shit, man. Like, ask me for advice. I, I can give advice like a motherfucker. Just from being in so many different situations so many different times, you know what I'm saying, like, I for real made it up out the motherfucking hood, cause, I got locked up one last time on some dumb shit, and I was not letting that shit happen again, and I was not about to be one of these motherfuckers out here getting killed for no motherfucking reason, cause the motherfuckers see you doing to, motherfuckers really do that shit, man, all these, all the motherfuckers I know that got killed last motherfucking year, in the year before, like, this shit don't make no sense. And then the motherfuckers 
I was one of the ones getting high as fuck too. Like, dog, like, motherfuckers and die like that. Like, I was on overdose status when I was up there. Like, check it. When I went up there a couple months ago, I had to get me something. And then my little bro up there dipped off like, man, just, I'm going to leave. Give me this. Nah, you can take this with you because I can't do shit on the goddamn plane. I ain't about to go kiss or do shit or some shit and get caught on the fucking airplane. Man, oh, just imagine if I was just motherfucking OD that night. Motherfuckers would to follow me to the goddamn people came at 11 and look at shit. Shit I be thinking about. Or, we're having niggas with guns. Like, we all felons. Can't nobody even, if you ain't supposed to be kicking it with each other. Like, but that's, that's what it is, man. Everybody felons out there, that's what they make you. I'm just talk, man. We had 40 minutes. I don't even know how it's going to come out, but it is what it is, dang, this motherfucker going to go on the tube, and that's going to be it, he's going to manage to smidge. There's another picture. I'm in some pink shorts and a white beater. It's some Air Max 97s with the high Nike socks. That's that's that dad swag. Man, I'm a dad. I got two kids, Jerry. Man, I want to kick with my son hard as fuck. He goes to the same school I went to. Finally. Like, I don't know if it's the same teachers, but they didn't rebuild that bitch. He the first motherfucker in that motherfucker. Like, I got the first in the seventh grade, that made it six through eight now. Yeah, that shit wild. I, I seen them building before I moved. They was, you know what I'm saying, starting to tear trees and shit down. It was the woods. Like all the shit we did in the woods when we was kids. All the shit we did in the woods when we was teenagers. All the shit we did in them woods when we was grown. Cause we knew where the fuck duck the duck shit off at. And we knew motherfucking man, get the fuck out of here. Life and the wild shit I've done. Man. Shit I can speak on, shit I can't speak on. Shit, wow. But the stories can be told through different styles and ways. Some motherfuckers like hearing shit. Feel me? Sometimes ain't nothing better than a motherfucker to talk to. To get all your shit the fuck out. That you just been trying to get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is gonna be the way I do it. Like, every time I need to vent and frustrate some shit, get the shit the fuck off my motherfucking mind, give it to you motherfuckers. And let y'all motherfuckers, I read y'all comments every morning. And just, <laughs> man. Respond or motherfucking send an emoji back to all you motherfuckers. Because I mean, you know, this shit got me feeling right now. Just to, it's been almost 45 minutes, and I've just been talking to the camera. Like, I ain't never done no shit like this. I've been thinking about doing shit like this for a long time. Never took step to do it. And it's fucked up and now I'm about to do it when I gotta go to the motherfucking job. But that's a difference though, because like now I got shit to talk about. So even if you know what I'm saying, I will be that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like this nigga need to pay his bills. Even though even though motherfucking bills is paid and whatnot. She got all that. But I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, be on the sideline like, damn, well, do you buy me a beer? Like, I ain't that nigga. <clears throat> Hell no. Nah. I'm just gonna make 
me some money regardless of how I do it. That's why these motherfucking everybody, motherfucking McDonald's hiring and get paid the next day. But that's what it takes. That's what it takes for them. I tell you that, I want to work at Amazon, but I'm waiting for my license to have Because I would rather just be that Uber dude, that motherfucking whip, that system in it, cut that base low key as fuck. Make motherfuckers comfortable in my shit. Let me get to know the city for a little bit. And by the time I get to know the city all the way, psh, this YouTube shit, you know what I'm saying? It should be them took off. But this, man, this Ohio hold me back at the same time. Like, I could, I had a car. Look, I bought a truck to come down here. That bitch, I just, I, I was done with that That bitch broke down on the way. Had to go rent the truck anyway. So we should have did it in the first place. The truck I paid for was 1800 Boom, loaded that bitch. Ran that bitch all the way to the tip of Tennessee and Georgia. Ringgold, where the fuck we was at. Ringgold. It was Ringgold, Georgia. But the Walmart I went to was on the Tennessee side, so now I'm thinking. Because it was a lot of Tennessee plates in that motherfucker. Unless, I don't know, I'm not from there. You feel me, Ty? And it was like, fuck, we might as well just set up shop here. But it was still cold as fuck outside. I was like, no, nah, fuck it. Gonna get this truck. We made way. Eight hour ride from up there to motherfucking where we at. We about, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pulled up like boom in here. This motherfucker out this. You don't tell for a week. Quarantine. What the fuck? See what I'm saying? Like, but, man, it's time to go on and get the fuck on. We just let this shit ride out. Nah, it's crunch time again. Get it. Man, 45. Man, this is shit. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna cut it at 47. Just cause. I'm going to finish this beer and try to get this motherfucker on the goddamn tube. I'm gonna just throw it on there. I ain't even gonna edit shit. I'm gonna just throw this bitch on there, dog. And see what the fuck happened. You know what I'm saying? So. This T Gib, what the fuck call me motherfucking Gib? That's what everybody Gib. Gib out, motherfucking. More stories to come. You know what I'm saying? Like, what more can I say? I'll see y'all later.